with Danielle, who's the wholesale manager for Cafe Grumpy, and we're in the Chelsea location of Grumpy, which is one of the nicest coffee shops in the city. Uh, Danielle, tell us a bit about the history of Grumpy. How long have you been around? Grumpy's been around for over five years now. We have four locations. Uh, two of them are in Manhattan, two of them are in Brooklyn. The Chelsea location is very much your, uh, your cosmopolitan, um, but also neighborhood type of folk where you want to come and relax. But I've had people come in in their slippers and pajamas and then also full gowns before going out to Lincoln Center. So you, you can definitely get the full variety of your New York life at the Chelsea store. You have the High Line close by, tons of restaurants and bars too, and plenty of galleries. And I think the art world and the coffee world are very well connected. So it's not surprising that we get a lot of folks flowing over in here on the weekends coming from the art walks. Well, I noticed you're not allowed to use laptops in here. What's that about? It's true. We like it to be more of uh, a conversational atmosphere, a place where people can come meet in the morning with their kids and enjoy a pastry and a coffee, or in the afternoon, you know, we get a, a lot of people coming in after work wanting to just get away from all of that. What do you guys put with your decaf? You must be quite a sort of coffee expert yourself. I consider it a part of my life, not just my job. And I kind of think of uh, that a lot of us here at Grumpy view coffee is more than just something where you're plugging numbers and chugging the caffeine at the end of the cup. It's more about the flavor that you can pull out of it, how you can manipulate coffee to make it really shine and to show off the hardest work on the farm level. For the first few years, we were buying coffee from roasters outside of New York. After a while, it was, well, you know, we could do this ourselves, so we bought a roaster, started roasting our own beans, and now all of the coffee we offer is stuff that we've roasted out of our Greenpoint store. So where does the name Cafe Grumpy come from? And everyone always asks, they come in, oh, you don't seem very grumpy. It's like, well, that's the whole point, is that, you know, you expect that when you walk into a cafe, the bad attitude barista, and I think a lot of people here are, um, we're all very friendly with one another in the cafe, we're good friends, we become great friends with our customers too, and it's just the best way to build the relationship. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you for coming. Cafe Grumpy. Thank you.